This next guy's really sad. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to relate. I'm sorry. Posting's hard, Corey. Yeah. Do you want to do it? How many more comments do you got? I'm last? Yeah, I'll host the next one. No, we have one more after you if Christian doesn't show up. But please give a warm, big welcome to Corey Miller, everyone. Thank you, Andrew. Oh man, that was like the weirdest, uh, this is the best part about standing here, is this fan's gonna blow my shirt up and show my gut to every fucking one of you people. Because my shirt is not long enough. It's like Bon Jovi, it's living on a fucking prayer at this point. Hey, 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 early 2000s rock, you guys in or what? Yeah, who gives a fuck, it's Bon Jovi. This fucking fan, dude. <laughs> Every time I would say anything, I would blow up my back of my shirt. So I started doing this. Uh, <laughs> I'm on Tinder, and I got a really interesting match the other day. It was this chick that kind of looked familiar. And uh, I put one and one together, and she's my ex girlfriend's new boyfriend's little sister. So, like, instead of trying to fuck your ex's friends, Start banging her new man's little sisters. I'll see you at fucking Christmas, sis. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great. And then uh, I'm on Reddit, right? And uh, one of the Reddit forums I'm on, they give out numbers to, like, fake prostitutes that scam people. And they, they like, tell you to, like, just hit them up and fuck with them. So <laughs> I started doing these prank call things on the internet to these guys. And these Indian guys go fucking nuts. It's hilarious. Like, hey, this is Steve from New York. Are you the one that hit my car? And they just fucking lose their shit and start telling them they're going to kill everyone in their fucking family. It's awesome. It's like, uh, it's pretty much like uh, whenever a white person doesn't get their way in public. When you think about it. You know what I mean, Tyler? Yeah. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> so, uh, I got lucky the other week. I had sex with a woman. It was pretty awesome. I'll tell you guys about it now. Yeah, I don't hear any claps. Fuck you guys. So, uh, I met up with this, I go to this bar after work. This is back when I was still employed. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> I go to this bar after work, and I'm sitting at the bar by myself, just kind of like rolling through like fucking Facebook and shit. And this Cuban chick comes over, pretty good looking Cuban chick. And she's like, oh, you need friend? And I'm like, oh, I don't really have any, so pull up. I'm like, what's up? So <laughs> she sits down, we're like texting over like Google Translate and shit. And it's like one in the morning. I was like, hey, I'm gonna get out of here. What are, you, what are you doing after this, question mark? Didn't know if she needed like a ride home or something. She's like, oh, I come with you. Okay, this is great. So we get back to my house. She ripped my pants off like a fucking Band-Aid. It was insane. I never met someone so excited to have sex with me in my, in my entire life. Like, I've been married. And then she, my ex-wife was never this excited to have sex with me. It was fucking insane. So we're going at it. I'm like, I'm like I have her a missionary and she reaches up and cuffs my man tits. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Cut my man tits. And I, oh my gosh. So, like, we're going at it. We're going at it for like 20 minutes. She pulls my dick out and jerks me off like two homeless guys fighting over a quarter. So I bust my nut. She stands up <laughs> and she says to me, $400. $400. I'm like, $400 fucking dollars for what? And she's like, oh, one come, $400. I'm like, when the fuck did we agree to this? Oh, it's great. And then, <laughs> so, like, I was just like, hey, do you have PayPal? I typed her on Google Translate, do you have PayPal? She's like, yeah. So as she, like, she's still naked and still has jizz, like, right here on her stomach. And as she pulls her phone out, I just fucking straight up, like, scoop her and just throw her out of my fucking apartment. It's 2 in the morning at this point, and I just got new neighbors. And they're outside saying goodbye to their mom for helping them move at this time. 2 in the morning, and I'm just throwing this Cuban bitch out of my apartment, who's completely naked. I think she had, like, a skirt on, and, like, she, she's screaming, $400, $400. So I just shut the fucking door on her. She rang my doorbell till 5 in the fucking morning. Like, literally, I had to go down and get a wrench and, like, take the fucking thing off. Like, she just sat there and rang my doorbell consistently for three hours. Cuban women are a lot like Gillette razors. They are the best a man can get. They will fucking cut you. No doubt in my mind. Cuban women are fucking nuts. So then fast forward like another week. <laughs> this bitch keeps showing up at my house. Like she keeps Ubering from the middle of fucking Harrisburg to my house and ringing my doorbell trying to get me to pay $400. 
And I'm just like, yo, like, I don't know what the fuck you like. I was chilling with this other chick at the time named Mika, and she starts banging on the door. And Mika went out and beat her up, like in the middle of the fucking street. I was like, that's a little Puerto Rican chick I was chilling with from fucking uh, Philly, just beat the shit out of this other Cuban chick. It was fucking awesome. I was so aroused. I went upstairs and gave gave Mika the best three minutes of her fucking life. Way better. I, I lasted longer doing this set than I did with Mika that night. Oh, it was awesome. But uh, then she came back another time, and I, I happened to have like a, a fake CIA badge I had from like a Halloween costume from like six years ago that I found. So I put it in my wallet and just like flashed it at her. I haven't seen her since. So that, that bitch thinks I'm part of the CIA. Yeah, I'm part of the CIA living in a one bedroom apartment in the middle of fucking Enola. Oh, uh, it was great. So $400. $400. The best part about it is I asked her, like, I was like typing to her old Google Translate, but she's screaming this. I was like, first off, calm down, I'll pay you. Like, it's cool, like, we never agree with this, but whatever. I'm like, how many times you come? She's like, three. I'm like, $800! $800! Do math, bitch! Oh, it was great. So, yeah, that's my Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah. Trying to make